You might have recently caught some headlines about Amazon firing up space lasers, or that they're trying to get into the broadband internet industry. Believe it or not, both those things are actually related. Amazon has started a division within the company called Project Kuiper, and yes, that is how you pronounce it. Okay, I looked it up. Kuiper Systems is an ambitious subsidiary within Amazon that will be launching roughly 3,000 satellites up into low Earth orbit. These satellites will then provide internet to not only Americans, but allegedly to unserved and underserved communities around the world at an affordable price. Now, this technology is nearly identical to what SpaceX's Starlink does, except Project Kuiper has an ace up its sleeve. Unlike Starlink, Kuiper satellites will actually be able to talk and transmit data between one another using optical lasers. This constellation of satellites will act as a mesh network, where you can have multiple relay points in between a transmitting point and a receiving point. This is a huge advantage over Starlink, whose satellites for now can't transmit data amongst one another, and therefore, in order for a Starlink internet user to have a stable internet connection, the Starlink satellite overhead needs to be able to not only see the end user, but also a Starlink antenna ground station. That is somewhat of a bottleneck, because not only does that mean Starlink needs to own and maintain a bunch of somewhat costly gateway stations on the ground all over the place, but that also the user has to be at least somewhat in the vicinity of the ground station, roughly within 500 miles or 1000 kilometers that is. Now that's definitely a hurdle you can get over, especially in the US, which is just one country obviously. But expanding services internationally does then pose a bit of a challenge, because now you're buying up property and maintaining facilities in numerous jurisdictions across the globe. But Kuiper won't have to. A user, let's say, in Vietnam could get internet that's routing all the way to a Kuiper ground station in the US, or really anywhere for that matter. Amazon's Kuiper Internet could truly be the world's first pure global internet service provider. Now, with those grandiose ambitions in mind, let's just take a step back real quick. If you're thinking that SpaceX is Starlink, the company to make commercial internet from space a reality, just happened to get caught off guard by Project Kuiper, or that maybe they're just not as smart or as business savvy as the Amazon subsidiary, you might want to get yourself a reality check because, of course, Starlink has its own plans to set up a mesh network constellation as well. In fact, they're developing and already testing the technology. Starlink calls their version of the mesh satellites ISLs, Optical Intersatellite Links. And yes, I know that acronym doesn't quite add up, but it's how SpaceX is calling it. And in addition to ISLs, Starlink is trying to get into the cellular telecommunications industry, partnering with T-Mobile to access their network infrastructure. Basically, in the future, anyone with a T-Mobile plan will simply never have to worry about being in a dead zone again. For example, if you decide to hike up a mountain and want to call up your mom while taking a breather, but there's no cell towers nearby, it won't matter. Your cell signal will just first go up to a Starlink satellite above, and then be shot down into T-Mobile's infrastructure elsewhere on the ground. Starlink is also making B2B deals with the likes of airlines and with the behemoth that is Google. Starlink will begin constructing ground stations on the premises of some Google data centers. What this will do is allow enterprise customers, through Google authenticated Starlink, to have a secure link directly to a Google server, bypassing all other networks, ISPs, and any other nosy eavesdroppers hiding along the way through traditional pathways. So clearly Project Hyper is not usurping Starlink anytime soon, especially considering at the time of recording this video that they only have two of the 3,236 planned satellites and don't expect to begin servicing initial customers until maybe sometime in 2024. But nonetheless, it is quite exciting to see that Starlink will eventually get some competition. And in addition to just competition, I think we'll eventually see Amazon try to utilize Project Hyper as a value add. That is, they'll use it to generate more revenue in their core Amazon.com business, separate from just charging people for the internet. Similar to what Facebook tried doing with their internet.org project in rural parts of the world, where users who couldn't afford typical data plans could get access to the internet for free. But that internet was pretty much just local weather and Facebook. Now this got Facebook banned completely in India since the scheme clearly broke their net neutrality rules. 
And since then, Facebook has developed an unrestricted browser called Wi-Fi Express that users just pay for. But my point is, if done smartly, Amazon could likely try something similar, perhaps offering reduced Prime memberships to Project Kuiper users, or by maybe having Amazon.com be like a default shopping app, or likely by some other much more mischievous scheme. And this would likely be super lucrative for Amazon, possibly becoming the default online store for people who, up until very recently, couldn't even get online. While Amazon and SpaceX focus on connecting Earth via satellites, Lockheed Martin's got its eyes on connecting the moon. They recently created a new subsidiary called Crescent Space Services, which will operate lunar satellites that ensure any moongoers always have connectivity. And they're hoping to launch services as soon as next year. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is officially back in the 50s it seems, in more ways than one, and we got ourselves a good old space race. With whom? Well, other than China, pretty much with ourselves, with so many companies trying to get to space. If that interests you, you definitely should subscribe. And with that, see you in the next one.